this topic about to you who is Jesus. There's a lot of different world views out there about who Jesus is, who he isn't, a lot of different debate and everything. I know that. Let me tell you about my first experience with who Jesus is. And for me, I had my first Jesus experience as fire insurance. For me, when I was 16, I went forward, had my first experience just to keep me from going to hell. And uh, I was like a lot of other people in the world. Uh, I had my view of who Jesus was. And to me, it was uh, that he was sitting up in heaven, waiting for me just to mess up, for me to cuss, do something wrong, lust or something, and he had a big red button, just like an easy button. He said, wait and stay, uh, go to hell, uh, go to hell, uh, go to hell. And, it was, and so for the next few weeks, I was like, why should I try? So I gave up. And for the next 13 years, I decided, if I can't be the best daggone Christian, I'm going to be the best daggone sinner I could be. And so, so for me, that was my, my, that was my view. And I was like, I'm like a lot of other people here that has the same view of, of who this Jesus is supposed to be. And like I said, there's a lot of different world views out there. Uh, if you're an atheist, do you think that uh, Jesus was not a God at all? Or did he even exist? And uh, and that's typical of, of that. And they're, uh, they just really don't want to talk about, you know, a lot about who he is. They're pretty uh, closed a lot of times. That's typical. Uh, agnostics really they have no opinion at all. Uh, they, they will not believe until it's been rationally refuted. So they've been talked about and talked about. And so uh, they'll debate with you. And, that, and that's good. Good to debate. Good to uh, get it out there. If you're a Buddhist, you typically have no opinion at all of who Jesus is. You're not, he's not one of your gods. And so you, you don't even uh, acknowledge any historical presence of Jesus or uh, anything else that may be uh, involved with the whole Jesus uh, idea. If you're Jewish, uh, Jews don't believe that he, he was a Messiah at all. In fact, the, the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah to show up in the form of a military Messiah with an army. The Jews uh, say he may have been a good priest, good teacher. That was about it. If you're Hindu, you might uh, have, he might Jesus one of your 300 million gods. I have a friend of mine who uh, is in India, India quite a bit. He said, you'll see shrines to Jesus along with 40 other uh, gods in their, in their prayer areas. If you're Muslim, uh, typically they believe he was like Moses, that he was a great prophet. But he wasn't the son of Allah, and uh, he was not crucified. And so these are typically some of the, the majority uh, of the ideas of who Jesus is in the world. And there's a lot of different ideas, but there's this one simple question that all of us have to, to deal with at some point in time in our lives. And it's really the question about, to you, who is this Jesus? Who do you say that Jesus is? And the way you answer this question typically will be one that dictates the way you should live your life and the way you shouldn't live your life. There's a lot of people out there that say that Jesus is their Savior, but doesn't necessarily live it out. Well, about ten years ago, my view of Jesus changed. I went from the big the big guy in the sky waiting to send me to hell with the big red easy button. I went from that to a, to a God that, for me, started to change my life. You see, I started to read the Bible, and and I didn't put my trust in what some preacher was telling me. I started to read the Bible, even to start to explore it. I have an investigation background, so I started investigating some of the stuff in the Bible. And I said, I started not trusting what, what men were telling me, but I went and saw what Jesus was doing in my life. How he healed me from those 13 years. Of, uh, when I told you that I was kind of, couldn't be the best Christian, couldn't be the best sinner. Well, I said, if I wanted to hell, I'm going out of the bank. So my view of Jesus really became one of, of that I saw him heal me, heal my family, but my view of Jesus became one of love. That he actually did care about me, cared about my family, cared about the people that were hurting the most. And that's why my family and I have dedicated our lives to righting the, uh, the wrongs of the world, standing up for justice in parts of like Appalachia, and going out to inner city uh, places to give out food, to be able to do things on behalf of, that's all jacked up, but the thing is, <laughs> the, we really, this question about to you who is Jesus really will dictate the way we live our lives. It should. If it doesn't, and you proclaim to be a Christian, then, 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 then something's wrong. 
If you have questions, if you want to discuss anything, there's my Twitter, uh, Mal, uh, Mal Jr. is my Twitter, it's my Facebook, there's my blog, LukeFordChurch.com, and my email. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate it.